Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Dispute with Mahesh. Today we'll try to do a mini implementation of Dress for Win, which is also one of the case studies which is in our Professional Cloud Architect uh, exam. So we'll try to do the implementation on the similar lines of what we did with Mount Grid Games, either on a compute engine, for first with a compute engine, followed by a managed instance group. Let's get started. For folks who are looking at Dress for Win for the first time, so this is the official page where uh, there's a chance that we may get questions from this uh, case study. So I have also created a cheat sheet in my YouTube channel. So this is the one. So two components we are going to implement. The, the web application, which is going to have an e-commerce kind of a stuff where you can buy clothes, all those things. And that's going to be the application. So it's written in Java, but I was not able to get a Java code for an e-commerce website, which I can make it running. So I'm going to use Node.js. And the back end, uh, as per my understanding, uh, it looks like better to run it on a virtual machine. So we are going to create two virtual machines, one to create the web application, one to have the back end database. OK, so now, uh, as I told, I am not going to write a code from the beginning. So I have used some of the codes. So I used a code from uh, a contributor, uh, a GitHub contributor called as Krishna Paul. I guess his uh, name is called as send email to Chris. Uh, he has written a nice uh, application um, where three years old application, but using Node.js. And once you implement it, you get a ward roof kind of a feel. Uh, e-commerce website you will get this thing so which is somewhat similar to what we are expecting in our dress for win case study so what i have done is i have got the code uh, which krishna paul had committed uh, so i have modified the code and created a, a code in my repository a github repository called as dress for win i'll mention the link in the the youtube description you can use it so all the steps are documented here so we'll provision basically A DB server and a MySQL server both are going to be virtual machines so uh, in the next part of the demo we will convert this app server into an image from the image will create a template from the template will create a basically a instance group uh, and the load balancer okay so let's get started let me create a DB server and uh, if you look into the case study they prefer to use my uh, Ubuntu 16 version specifically. Let's try to do the same demo with a specific uh, OS there so that we are in sync with what they are mentioning. So I'm going to call this as DB server. Let it be in Singapore. N1. And the most important thing as per their requirement, let's make it as Ubuntu 16 so that at least to the closest one we can come there. So Ubuntu 16.04 long term uh, support is the one which we are going to do. And there's no startup script required here. So if I just drag my script here so that I can do the switching. So I just need to log into the virtual machine first and I create a uh, basically my uh, MySQL server instance by installing it. So let me just create this. So it's going to take a couple of minutes for it to come. Not couple, I would say uh, less than a minute. By the time this comes up, why don't I create the other instance, uh, the app server. So we'll create the app server. The name is app server, copy it. But for this, there is a good amount of script, startup script. We are just going to copy that. App server, Singapore, N1, standard. Uh, change it to Ubuntu 16 version, which is what is mentioned there. Good. Now, I'm going to expose this because I have to access it with an IP address. Port 80 is what I'm going to do. And the startup script, I'm going to paste my startup script here, which is completely mentioned. Update. I need Node.js version. 14 version is what I'm going to use. Uh, then forever, I'm going to use for it to run in a daemon mode. And I'm cloning my this thing, installing the necessary packages for the Node.js to work. So copy this as is, paste it here. That's it. Click on create. That's it. So let's wait for that to come up. Uh, I guess the DB server should have been provisioned. So I'll just do update. And I would strongly suggest to give a strong password, something like this. Uh, 
So let's go and create our MySQL server on this virtual machine. So it should come up. Yes. So DB server, let me SSH. All right, we are in the DB server. Uh, and if you see here, uh, I wanted you to become a root user. So it's going to be better, easy to do it. So I'm the root user. Now I'm just going to update the patch. And once I update the patch, I'll install the uh, MySQL server. And when it is prompting for any password, give a strong password. Okay. So if you use the password, which I have mentioned, uh, you don't need to change any code basically. So let me install this app, uh, MySQL server. When prompted, uh, please give the same password if you want. If you want, you can change it. A strong password. Done. So it should come up once I have given the same password. The reason is in the code also I have given the same password. Now once it comes up right, I should make sure uh, I can access uh, this server, DB server from app server. So I should make some network settings. So I will go to this place and do the necessary changes. So if I go here, CD, ETC, MySQL, it's MySQL conf.d. So I'll just do VI. So there's one line which is going to be commented out. So I'll update my uh, this thing documentation of the readme file. So I'm just going to comment this out so that I can access it from uh, any system from the outside world. Done. This is one thing. So since I made a configuration change, I have to start it or restart the system. My SQL service. I'm going to use uh, systemctl restart uh, MySQL. It should get restarted. Uh, if you wanted to see the status, just use status. These commands may look very basic for uh, uh, advanced users, but for users who are doing it for the first time, maybe even small commands can matter. That's the reason I'm showing that. Now the I'm able to basically uh, opened it to anywhere. I should be able to connect from my app server also. So I have finished step four. Now log into this MySQL instance, then make sure you uh, get a copy of your uh, GitHub. There is a script, uh, a database script, which needs to be created. Let's use that part. Okay. So first of all, let me copy this so that I need to clone this. So I will just go back to my home folder, which is going to be this one, home directory. Now do git clone. So I have kept my uh, the, the schema details in the repo itself. So if you just go to rest for when database, you can see it into, I can just go to SQL. Uh, This is the schema which I wanted to run. So I'll just do MySQL minus H just to mention that it is running in uh, the local system minus U, U root user minus P. Uh, then what I'll do is first log in and create a database. I was not able to make this automated uh, due to time constraint. Uh, now let me create a database, create database called as e-commerce database, database created. You can type show databases and you should see that. Now just make sure you run this command also so that we can grant everybody access. So you can access it from uh, app server. So I can access it from anywhere is what I'm doing. So let me just copy this properly. Run should not be there. So I should just copy this. Clear this. Uh, 
let me paste it correctly okay so there was a small copy paste issue so I have run it it's exactly the same command but the copy paste issue is there so I'll make sure I'll update that in my uh, documentation so that you should be able to do it now I have granted it now let me quit from the session now what I will do is I'll dump this into my uh, my SQL so how do I do it I can just mention my database where I have to dump uh, which database I have to dump so this is the SQL so when I enter the password just enter the password done now if you want you can go and see the schema should be uh, created so if I just go inside the database with the password now if I do show tables I should see those tables which is going to use say for example if I do select star from products I should be able to see all the products which we are going to see in the app so this is done the job is done in my DB server so these are all the steps which we were to do done now there are some formatting issues I'm going to fix that folks don't worry uh, the next part is go back to your this thing so you need to copy this IP address the DB servers IP address launch your app server make sure you go and edit the file so that you should be able to connect to this uh, MySQL database all right I'm in my app server so I'll first switch as root user and I'll go to slash dress for win so this is the directory so let me slightly make this big uh, vi database config so this is the file where I have to change my IP address so I have mentioned the password is mentioned the database is all good now I've done all the necessary changes after uh, you have done the necessary changes you need to just run this last step so this is going to run in a daemon mode so let me just run this it's going to run in a daemon mode that's it now if I just swap my screen go click on this if things are all fine it should show my e-commerce website yes it is showing dress for win so this is the home screen where I have mentioned this is one of the case study in professional cloud architect exam now click on your products it should show you the products details there nice more like that wardrobe style so let me add a sweatshirt or maybe this one dim and shirt add so I want to check out that's it I can just enter the details and submit it so just mention something like Mahesh okay uh, let me just mention the email address I'm not sure whether it's going to be a valid one let me just click on submit to see what happens so I can just it's not going to do a transaction basically so this part is captured this part is captured and the system is also good enough till you update it all those things it's good now if I just go to my home screen I wanted to show you it is also mobile friendly uh, so the Mount Grey games which I did was a nine year old app so this is three year old app uh, Krishna Paul has done a good job in uh, basically making this app mobile friendly so I can make it something like an iPhone how it looks so if I make it as 100% I should be able to see it so it's mobile phone a responsive more responsive so you want to do something in say for example galaxy fold how it looks so it shows that nicely so or a normal responsive one so that's good so you have the hamburger menu also showing up you can add items to the cart cool so clear cart I can do everything that's really good so let me switch back to the normal mode so that's the first part of the video folks so I'm going to do a second version of this where I'm going to create a instance group and uh, run it in a load balancer okay so that's going to be the second part of the video so we should expect it by end of day today uh, I should be able to upload this hope the video is helpful thank you for watching